Stranger Things, 10 Storylines Season 4 Could Have, According to Reddit. Are you getting impatient waiting for Season 4 of Stranger Things to drop on Netflix? Have you gone through every possible scenario in your head as to what might happen? Well, if you're one of those die-hard Stranger Things fans who can't get enough of the series and want to know what might occur in the upcoming episodes, then you're in luck, because in today's video, let's go over the 10 possible storylines of Season 4, according to Reddit users and die-hard fans. 10. The Hellfire Club If you've been following the recent news and updates surrounding Season 4 of Stranger Things, then chances are you've come across this interesting name, The Hellfire Club? The very first episode of the upcoming season is titled Chapter 1, The Hellfire Club, which will presumably be focused on the mysterious new group. So, what is the Hellfire Club and why is it so important to season 4? As shared by the executive producers over at Netflix, this new group is the Hawkins High School Dungeons and Dragons Club, which is led by the new character Eddie Munson. But that's not all. Because according to fans, the Hellfire Club may be the opposite of the group we have come to love and support. Along with being the evil versions of Dustin, Will Mike and Lucas, the Hellfire Club may be focused on taking down their friend Eleven. 9. Nancy Wheeler's Death Okay, this next fan theory may be sad for some fans to hear. But it's certainly a plot line and storyline we might encounter in Season 4. According to one Reddit user, there will be a major death in the upcoming season of Stranger Things. And who will be the character we might have to say goodbye to, as shared by interesting still 9753. So there's some speculation that it will be Jonathan that will die in season 4 of Stranger Things, but I honestly think it will be Nancy Wheeler. I think Nancy's death could cause a lot of character arcs, with the most prominent being Mike and Eleven's. I read this speculation somewhere, and I think it really made sense. It goes something like this. In season 2 and 3, Mike doesn't really tolerate Max being around, and originally, he doesn't even want Max in the boys' party. Nevertheless, Nancy's death could create a vague bond, albeit the cause was something not good, as Max has also lost a sibling. They'll share a common trauma, and in the end, they may become true friends over it. In my opinion, this is very true and could help create a newfound friendship. What do you think? 8. Eleven's Powers Apart from witnessing a giant explosion that overtook Jim Hopper, the other cliffhanger of Season 3 was Eleven losing her powers. As it's deduced by most fans, over the years we have seen the heroine exhaust herself in order to save her family and friends. Which is why, by the end of season 3, we saw Eleven lose her abilities and powers. But that may not be the case for the upcoming season. Because according to dedicated viewers, Eleven may be on the road to unlocking brand new powers. Maybe even new abilities she didn't know she had possessed. 7. Saving Hopper if facing the reality of the Upside Down wasn't scary and intriguing enough, some fans think Stranger Things will create a whole new plot line dedicated to saving Jim Hopper. As we have seen on teaser trailers and mini clips posted online, Jim Hopper makes his surprising comeback in Season 4, but not in the way one would expect. Instead of watching him alongside the gang in Hawkins, Indiana, we catch a glimpse of the hero in the cold and grim Russia. What is the police officer doing across the globe? Well, here is what one fan thinks Hopper's adventures will lead to, and how Eleven and the gang will try to save the hero and bring him back home. But here is the kicker. Stranger Things Season 3 took place during 1985. Chernobyl would take place one year later in 1986. So in the event Eleven and company decide to take a trip to Russia to save Hopper, Eleven and whatever number who may reside in Chernobyl might have a showdown which might result in one of the worst nuclear meltdowns in history. This may also play in the theory the Upside Down represents a nuclear winter as this may happen in this season. So that's my theory. 6. Hopper's Origin Story Speaking of Hopper, his time in Russia may not be an incidental plotline. As you may have already guessed, everything you see on Stranger Things has a deep-rooted meaning or a backstory of some sort. And this can be said for Jim Hopper too. As it has been confirmed by the creators of the popular Netflix hit, The Duffer Brothers, it's not all good news for our American, he is imprisoned far from home in the snowy wasteland of Kamchatka, where he will face dangers both human and other. Meanwhile, back in the States, a new horror is beginning to surface, something long buried, something that connects everything, season 4 is shaping up to be the biggest and most frightening season yet, and we cannot wait for everyone to see more. In the meantime, pray for the American. 5. Hopper is dead. 
And the final Jim Hopper fan theory we will be talking about today is one that not many of us want to believe. Even though we have seen clips and trailers of our favorite character back in action in season 4, one Reddit user thinks Jim Hopper will actually be dead in the upcoming episodes. And here is how they explain their theory. I do believe that Hopper did indeed die in the explosion of the machine made by the Russians. The reason I think this is because even though we don't see him in the final shot, one Stranger Things have made mistakes before and two it would be humanly impossible for someone to make that jump that quickly, especially Hopper with his dot large build. For those of you who are talking about the season 4 second teaser I believe that is actually in the past. David Harbour actually sort of supports this argument, not specifically, by saying I'm really excited for you guys to know more about that, and it relates to things he's doing with Eleven and Joyce. That quote along with how Hopper is working without a beard makes me believe that he was a Russian all along but betrayed them and moved to Hawkins to stay hidden. 4. Demogorgon Have you ever watched an episode of Stranger Things and thought to yourself, where did the Demogorgon come from? Well if you have, you are not the only one. Because after three seasons and multiple episodes hinting at their origins, some fans think season 4 will explore the depths of these monsters, their birthplace as well as their backgrounds. Some even think this creature is the grown-up version of Will Byer. 3. Will has powers. On the topic of Will, let's talk about the possibility of this Stranger Things character discovering a new side to him. As shared by one Reddit user in Season 4, Will may end up realizing he has some sort of powers and abilities. Just like his friend Eleven. The fan posted an interesting theory. In Season 2 when Will gets infected by the Mind Flayer, he describes his visions as memories but not specifically his. And he also says that it feels like they're all happening at the same time. Could they be Will's collective memories from other universes where the same thing is happening? 2. Eleven's Defeat While season 4 may focus on Will discovering his true abilities, this upcoming season may also shine a light on Eleven's defeat. Specifically, on how the heroine will lose to the Mind Flayer. Let this dedicated Stranger Things fan explain best. According to one user, in the past seasons, especially season 3, we have so heavily relied on Eleven to defeat any monster the characters have to deal with. At the end of season 2, she closes the gate but in season 3 we obviously see that gate was able to be opened again, I would find it disappointing to see the writers continuing to use Eleven to solve all the issues in season 4 when previous attempts have failed. To have another enemy to defeat and another problem to solve would be much more entertaining. If Eleven is infected, the Mind Flayer could control her like it did with Billy, well in the flayed to eventually destroy her or use her to get more control, spread. 1. Time Travel And last but not least, let's talk about the fan theory that has every Stranger Things viewer excited for the upcoming season. Because apart from exploring the world of Demogorgons and witnessing new adventures, one fan thinks the newest episodes of the hit Netflix show will also demonstrate aspects of time travel. As stated by this eagled eye fan, I was re-watching an episode in season 1. This scene at the end of season 1 was confusing for me. I now have an idea as to what and why Jim would enter this black car. It couldn't be that he had unfinished business with the lab because the lab leader was down and well how can they recover that quickly. My theory is that this indeed refers to Jim Hopper's time traveling. This scene shows Jim finishing something up in that time zone. Notice how he looks a bit secretive and such. He also dresses differently. I think the gym that is seen here is indeed the gym from the future. Time travel sure sounds interesting and intriguing. But what do you think? Do you believe any of these interesting fan theories? What is Jim Hopper doing in cold Russia in the newest teaser trailer? We would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video, make sure you hit the like button below the video. And if you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our very exciting videos. Goodbye everyone.